So today I'd like to talk to you about beliefs and the crucial role that they play in your life. Now beliefs are not facts. We sometimes think they are, we believe they are, they seem real but they're not. And what's happened is, based on the experiences that you've had in life so far, in your brain, in your subconscious brain, you've formed lots of belief pathways, lots of neuronal pathways, which then become like a data projector of how you see the world. So what happens is we look for evidence to support the beliefs that we have. If you've got therefore negative beliefs or limiting beliefs, they are not going to serve you and they are going to limit the world that you live in. They're going to you know, remove your opportunities. They're going to make the world seem like a darker place. So what do we do about this? Well, just like pathways in a garden or maybe pathways on a mountain path, beliefs grow. Just as neurons form and wire together in the brain. And on a daily basis, if we do the same things, if we repeat the same patterns, if we you know, look for evidence that reinforces those beliefs, then those pathways become stronger. They become a much more powerful part of who we are, our identity. But what would happen if you started to look for or search for or experience things that were inconsistent with those old beliefs? So for example, let's say that you believed that you didn't have the ability to be a good presenter. And up till this point in your life, you'd avoided all opportunities to go out and present and do any kind of public speaking. But let's imagine that you somehow found the inner courage to challenge that belief. And you actually started to learn how to do this. And then you started to practice. And then you first of all had a little practice run with friends and family. And then you did a small audience. And during that process, you actually started to enjoy the act of being a public speaker. What happens there is new pathways are growing each time you experience something contrary to your old belief in your subconscious brain. You're literally re rewiring your brain on a daily basis. And the old pathways, the pathways that you used to believe to be true, that I'm not good at public speaking, I'm not going to be confident in front of people, they grow over. So they actually start to fade, just like if you don't keep treading the same path on the mountain, if you don't keep, keep treading the same path in the garden, then it fades. The grass and the, you know, the shrubbery and the plants and the weeds grow over it and it starts to fade. And suddenly you're waking up one day with a whole new dominant belief. I'm a good presenter, I enjoy presenting, I want to present. And the more you then do things consistent with that new belief, the more embedded it becomes and it becomes a part of you, it becomes a part of our identity. So my key message for you today is, first of all, be aware of some of the limiting beliefs that you may have and remember when you do identify them that they're not facts, they're not the path that's set in stone and can never be changed. And if you look for opportunities to think in a different way, to behave in a different way, and to therefore ultimately feel in a different way that is consistent with a new healthier belief and inconsistent with the old belief, then the whole world around you changes. More opportunities, more fun, more fulfillment, more success.